Hey guys, welcome back and today we will discuss the final episode of Demon Slayer's Entertainment District arc. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's dive into it. The episode started with last week's cliffhanger as we saw Tanjiro desperately gasping for oxygen whilst Uzui is telling him to get the hell out of there so he doesn't get killed by Gyotaro's flying blood sickles. However, this is where Nezuko came in to save the day making everyone happy and relieved at the same time. The excellent outcome of this fight is that all the boys survived somehow but Inosuke's condition was the worst. Unexpectedly, Nezuko unleashed a fiery blood demon art which healed up Inosuke and he was back in action, just how we like to see him. Meanwhile, Tengen is immobilized and looks like he's on the brink of death and the poor guy can't even say his final thoughts because of two bickering women. But Nezuko healed him up and erased the poison in the process, although she did get backlash from Suma. Whilst everyone is happy and celebrating their victory, Daki and Gyutaro are absolutely roasting the living life out of each other before their death. I mean, it was brutal. Yotaro berates Daki because she died to two <laughs> bottom feeders, whilst Daki on the other hand called him an ugly, worthless freak. Now take a moment and imagine how depressing this would be if you had this conversation with your sibling before you both went to the other world. I think Yotaro got his feelings hurt more because he was about to say something very nasty, but luckily Tanjiro shut him up and took a page out of Naruto's book and filled his ears with the lovely talk no jutsu. Gyotaro reminisces of his past life as a human being who was loathed and disgusted by anyone who laid eyes on him. What's worse is his own mother tried to kill him a few times and children were seen as a burden in the entertainment district. However, he felt the tide begin to shift in his favour when Ume was born. He thought of her as his pride and joy and discovered his specialty as a fighter. That went downhill soon enough when he saw Ume's charred body as a result of her attacking her customer. Their backstory is miserable and makes you sympathise with them. Wandering aimlessly with not a single person in sight offering to help them, Gyutaro encounters Doma who was upper six at the time as he graciously donates blood to both of them. This segment made me respect Gyutaro immensely. He was a kind, caring and responsible older brother who wanted the best for his sister. Despite being shunned and ostracised by society, he continued to move forward and challenged his obstacles bravely. I think there was no other option for Gyutaro and Daki at that moment other than to become demons. The residents there were unwilling to even bat an eyelid, let alone help. The final moments of the flashback showed Gyutaro's indifference and how he had no regrets on becoming a demon. As the curtain is about to close for the siblings chapter, Gyutaro and Ume have their final conversation. He insists that Ume walks in a different path to him while she apologises for the vulgar behaviour she demonstrated before, demanding that she comes along with him and insisting that she will always be his sister no matter how many times they are reborn. The two walk together one final time. On the scene arrives the snake Hashira Obanai who taunts and congratulates Tengen at the same time. That is when Tengen declares his resignation. I honestly can't blame him for that with the only one eye and one arm I don't think he'll be able to fight at his full capacity and not to mention that this was only upper 6. The strength of the higher ranked demons will only intensify from this point and judging from this fight Tengen may not be an adequate fighter against them. As Obanai stresses the importance of having more Hashiras, Tengen says that Tanjiro is brimming with potential leaving Obanai shocked. Ubuyashiki is gassing up the boys and the girls victory nearly at the cost of his own life and we see Akaza again as Muzan summons the top 5 remaining upper demons. The main squad celebrates the victory as I'm sure the viewers are too. Tengen leaves with his wives. Honestly I hope he lives a good life, grows old and has some kids. The guy deserves it and his relationship with his wives is healthy too as he cares about them and doesn't see them as tools that he can be disposed of. This marks the end of Demon Slayer Entertainment District arc. I personally enjoyed the arc tremendously, a big shout out to UFO Table for the exceptional animation. These guys honestly deserve the world man. If you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts on this arc. Until then take care and stay safe. Peace.